Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video I will be unboxing the Orter 15 watt laser cutter laser engraver and now before everyone starts flooding my inbox with saying well this is not actually a 15 watt machine I know it's 4.5 watt output power on the laser but as with any diode laser in the world, it's referred to its input power and not to its output power, which is on the light side. So I know this is a 4.5 watt laser cutter and laser engraver, just as the NAJ, which I also happen to have, uh, which is a 5.5 watt output power laser. But I keep calling these machines by their names as they are listed on the websites that sell them. And this is sold as being a 50 watt machine. So I keep calling it a 15 watt machine. Now, here I've got the box. This is everything that I uh, received. And uh, well, this one actually I received for free uh, after uh, I did the videos about the NAJ laser cutter, the NAJ Master. Uh, I was contacted by Gearbest who asked me if I was willing to, well, to review this machine because they say uh, it's got a lot of similarities but also a lot of differences. And well, they wanted me to find out all the differences and tell them to you. So. I grab my dangerous knife and I'm going to unbox and I truly don't know if this is the upside or the bottom side because it doesn't say so on the box. So we'll have to find out. Maybe it's all the way around. So here we've got the Orter 15 watt laser cutter laser engraver in its box and as we can see well here is the instructions manual and then we've got all the parts in the boxes and I'm going to unbox them and show you what, what I've got. But first here, this is the laser itself. This is the laser that comes with the machine and I will be showing it in detail a little later on. Then over here in this box we've got all kinds of cutting materials and the tools we will need to set up this laser cutter laser engraver. I will put them there. Then we've got a USB cable. Then over here we have a pair of laser glasses and well you will see me uh, doing a safety instructions a little bit later on in the video but these glasses well at least you got to wear these when you're turning the laser on there is a power supply i think it's the only thing that is not wrapped in plastic then there is this lower gantry And here we have the upper gantry and now I completely, yeah, I emptied the box so this box can be thrown away. Now this is the lower gantry and well let's see what's in it. It says Arthur on the side so you can't be mistaken. This is the Orter and not the NAJ that I also have. And uh, well, there are some uh, connectors here. And well, it looks a lot like the NAJ, although I see some differences with the switches they use. And also, oh, the board is a completely different board and it's got two buttons here instead of one. Um, but this board, this is a completely different different uh, uh, computer board. So, and they told me this is going to be a 15 watt uh, laser engraver, and it's going to be a 32 bit board and not a 8 bit board. That's on the NAJ, and therefore uh, this laser would have much more capabilities of engraving. Uh, and especially it's got uh, 4069 
So it's 4096 levels of engraving, uh, while the other one that I have only, only has uh, 255 levels of engraving. So yeah, there, there should be a lot of differences between this one and the other one. But we'll have to find out to see if that's really true. Now, this is the upper gantry. And this has a lot of similarities to the one that we already know. And let's see how to place this. I think it has to be placed like this. Or the other way around. Like this. But then it should be this way. I guess. Yeah, it should be this way. But of course we're going to follow the instructions that are given in this book and this folder. Now, at first let's take a look because here is a parts list of what I should have received. And as you can see here is the parts list and also here we've got the reference table. Oh, this is great. This is a reference table and I will scan this and put a link of this on my website. Uh, a reference table with uh, all the speeds and the, uh, the powers that you need to use this machine. So uh, when you are going to cut wood for example, then it says how the uh, settings are for cutting wood. And if you are going to cut acrylic or engrave acrylic, then here you can find the settings. I will scan this and I will put this scan on my website so you can see it as a reference. And my website of course is 3dprintcreator.com with a minus sign between 3D and print creator. Um, here we've got the parts list. I've got the y-axis assembly. I've got the x-axis assembly. Power supply adapter. Uh, the laser module. Uh, the user manual. That's over here. The reference table. That's over there. USB cable. Got it here. The laser goggles. Yes, we've got that. Uh, some wooden plates for testing, well they're inside here. Uh, some nuts, spacers and screws, they're all here. A wrench, acrylic plates for testing, yes it's in there. Uh, some angle fasteners, I've seen them. A whiteboard marker, yes it's in here. A brush, yep also here. And some cable ties. So yes everything is complete. 